Hi everyone, it's Kino here. This is day three, three <laughs> of 30 days of yoga for complete beginners. I hope you're feeling a little bit of the magic of yoga and that starts to infuse every cell of your body with peace, love, and happiness. Now let's get started with today's practice. Bring your hands in prayer position. As you exhale, rest your hands down to any comfortable position. Tune into your breath. Notice how you're breathing. Tune into your body. Notice how your body feels. Tune into the quality of your mind and your emotions. Notice the subtle shifts from practice. And then connecting in with a conscious deep breath in, activate your pelvic floor. And as you exhale, softly open the eyes. Now we'll slowly begin. Let's start off with some shoulder shrugs today. So we'll roll the shoulders forward. Inhale as you roll and exhale, drop down. Two more, it's almost like a self massage. You can roll out tension in the neck and increase your energy. Let's do another one. And then we're gonna change direction after this one. Let's go in the opposite direction. Bring it up and around. Up and around. Keep going. Up and around. One more. Up and around. All right, let's shake that out a little bit. Come over onto the hands and knees and we've got our tabletop position. So find your tabletop, nice and easy. Okay. From your tabletop position, enjoy it. Fingertips, knuckles, and the heels of your hands. So stay there, feeling and breathing. Keep the mind nice and calm. Warm up the spine with cat and cow. Inhale as you extend your spine. Exhale, round, tuck it under. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale, roll through the spine. Feel the body. Exhale, round and under. Back to tabletop. Now, let's open the knees. We'll do puppy pose. Walk your hands forward, forward, forward. Exhale, top of the head down. And gentle hips back and up. Come up onto your fingertips. Five deep breaths. One. Two, open the shoulder, hips back and up. Three, nice and easy, hips back and up. Four, almost there. Five, walk your hands back, press up, back to your tabletop position. Hold it there for a moment as you curl the knees, make sure knees are hips width apart. Then tuck tail a little bit, not too much, but just enough to really get back to tabletop. Activate your pelvic floor and then let's come up to downward facing dog. Inhale, send the hips back and up, downward facing dog. One. Draw the navel deeply in. Two. Widen through your shoulders. Three. Nice and easy. Feel your breath and body. You can give a little sway to your downward dog. If you need to bend the knees and straighten or pedal your feet a little bit so you can get into the legs, feel welcome. Almost there. And five. Let's look forward. Sink back down to your tabletop position. Now we're going to build up to plank pose. Tuck your tailbone. Let's step one leg back. Tuck the tail the other leg back. Plank. Good. We stay a couple breaths in plank. One, two, three. Why 
in through the shoulders. Four. And five. Okay. Point the feet upward facing. Inhale. Long deep breath in. Exhale. You can sink the knees down. Back to downward facing. From downward facing, now we're going to prepare for warrior one. Virabhadrasana A. Switch your gaze forward. Inhale, you can step your right foot forward. When you come a little more forward, come up onto your fingertips. Scoot that foot forward, settle your back heel down. Then, press into the legs, right knee over the ankle. Inhale, come up. Feel that position for a moment. Press in through the legs, hands to the waist. Try to square your pelvis over the right leg and feel that right leg really working. Draw the navel in, your hands in prayer. Okay, you can stay here, or if you feel it, inhale, raise the arms. Five breaths. One, two, press down through the legs. Three, nice and easy. Four, reach powerfully up. Five, exhale, take your hands down. You're going to spin your left toes forward, hands on the ground. Press into your hands, and then inhale, back to plank position. Find your plank. Let's point the toes, upward facing. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. You can sink the knees and then glide it back. Now let's do the left side. Switch your gaze forward. Inhale, step the left foot forward. You can come up on the fingertips. Glide a little more forward, and then sink that right heel down. Now, left knee over the left ankle, fire up the legs. Inhale, come on up. Hands to the waist. Point the pelvis towards the left leg. Press firmly down. Draw the navel in, hands in prayer. Okay, you can stay here. You're working, you're feeling, you're working, you're feeling. It's all good, nice and easy. And then if you want to really connect into your warrior, arms up, five breaths, one. Open through the right hip, two. Feel that power coming through the body, three. Keep breathing, four. Don't give up, don't give up, five. Exhale, let's take the hands down. Point the left toes forward. Inhale, back to plank. Plank. You can point the feet upward facing. Long, deep breath in. You can sink the knees downward facing. Long, deep breath out. Nice and steady breathing. Stay with the breath. Feel the breath. Nice and easy. Exhale as you slowly sink the knees gently down. Cross your feet underneath you and let's come on down to seated. Stretch your legs out and we have Dandas in a position to yogi staff. Lift the center of the chest up. Nice deep breaths. One. Steady breathing. Two. Feel the breath and body coming online. Three. Stay with your breath. Four. Almost there. Now we're going to do that forward fold. Pashimottanasana. Gently reach forward. Pivot inside the hip joints. You can wiggle gently around. Then hands onto the shins, or you can hold the toes, find what works. Inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale, gentle fold. All right, we're folding, stay with it, keep breathing. One, two, roll the shoulders open, elongate the spine. Three, keep breathing. Four, Almost there. Five. Okay. Draw the navel in. Activate your legs. Inhale. Slowly come up. Exhale there. Walk your hands back. Let's bend the knees. We're going to go for the reverse tabletop pose. So feet together. Walk your hands back. All right. Now, this is a little complicated with the shoulders. You, there's a tendency to want to squeeze the elbows or the shoulders into each other. You really want to point the shoulders forward. Then, this creates an internal rotation of the shoulders, which works as a counterbalance to popping the chest up. Just feel that for a moment with the chest 
puff up. Nice, the big chest. <laughs> then big chest, but not big ego. All right, big humble warrior chest. Chest pops up. Okay, here we go. Now pressing through the legs. You're gonna send your pelvis forward. Then inhale, chest up. You can keep the head up, or if it's comfortable, head back. All right, you're just gonna squeeze your knees towards each other. Lift the hips. Two. Three, reverse tabletop, press equally through all the limbs, four, almost there, five, exhale, come on down, all right, shake that out, give me a cross legs underneath you, you're going to hide your feet underneath you, walk forward over the shins, back to plank position, point your feet, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. Slowly sink the knees down, cross your feet underneath you, and then exhale, gently come to seated, extending your legs. Pull the right knee up into your chest and cross it over for an easy twist. Hug the left knee in, lift the spine, and let's just gently look to the right. And stay here for five breaths, keep the left leg active, one, two, steady breathing, three, four, we're almost there, five, okay, inhale, come on into the center, exhale, back to your yogi staff pose, switch the sides, draw the left knee in, cross it over, hug into the body, with the right hand, inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, nice easy twist. Keep that left leg active, look to the left. One, deep breaths, two, three, nice and easy, four, almost there, five, all right, let's inhale, come on into the center, cross your feet. Now, with the feet crossed, you're going to hold your elbows behind the back. Long, deep breath in. Exhale as you pivot forward. If the pivot forward is difficult, grab a yoga block. And you can rest your head on a block as you gently come forward. And stay for five breaths. One. Two. Three. Relax. Breathe deeply. Four, almost there, five, inhale and slowly come up, lift the spine, extend your arms, tips of the index fingers and thumbs together, deep breaths, one, gaze at the nose to bring the attention inward, two, the navel is in, lift from the spine, three, Four, how you doing? Five, all right. Grab your two yoga blocks. Let's set those up between your feet and your hips. This looks hard, but I promise you'll be able to do it if you just set up the blocks well. And if you can't, you don't have blocks. Two books, two big books, three big books, the textbooks, Lord of the Rings could be a good substitute. <laughs> Hands on the blocks, pitch your shoulders forward, okay? Then, as you straighten the arms, your hips are gonna go back and up. And stay for five. One, two, just think about hips back and up. Three, you got it, keep working. Four, almost there, five, exhale, go on down. Move your blocks on over to the side. And exhale, let's gently roll the spine down. Relax. Release for a moment, steady breathing, keep the mind quiet and calm. Feel those good vibrations in the body, bring your attention to your heart center, feel the experience of peace of love, of happiness in the heart. Taking a moment to tune in 
to feel the body, to feel the breath. And then allow a long deep breath in. As you exhale, move fingers, toes, hands and feet. Let's bend the knees and the elbows, construct a rest for a moment. Feel your whole body and mind coming into harmony. Draw the knees up into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, a big thanks for doing the practice. And roll on over to the side. Inhale, come on up. Back to a comfortable seated position, eyes closed. Hands in prayer. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. May you carry the seeds of peace, of happiness, and of love into your life today and every day. Thank you so much for joining me on the practice. Be sure to tune in tomorrow to continue your 30 days of yoga. Namaste.